Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome to another exciting propaganda cast with me, host Imperial Dane, and welcome to episode number 400. 100, 100, yes, I'm trying to do a bit of an echo, but nonetheless, episode 400, exciting stuff indeed. A little over a year now, I began with the propaganda cast quite probably much, much differently. Sounding also a bit less confidently back then, but you know. I've come quite a bit away, 400 episodes, 1800 subscribers, yes indeed, 18 subscribers, 100 subscribers in the same day, which of course also means I'm going to be doing a second episode later. And we're going to be starting out with a 2 versus 2 on Declare, yes indeed, it's going to be quite the magnificent fight, I believe. We shall be fighting right in the northern corner, we're going to be seeing dreams will come true, and let's just begin this, it's going to be slightly long. Dreams will come true of the Wehrmacht, and I am a... Pig! That's never very confident. Very, you know, gentlemanlike, or was like, but nonetheless. Fighting for the Panzer Elite combined, they make the 116th Panzer Division. Let's just say it's that. The Schwimmwagens and Pioneers opposing them shall be Engineers. Atomic Bite Bite and Ruka Guderian, so Hank Guderian and Bite Bite of the Americans fighting for the 1st Armored Division. Weapon support sent up for Guderian. Bags Just up here. At the, pretty much the exit of the base. Of course, he wants to get out on the field as quickly as possible. And of course, Guderian will be doing his best to support his erstwhile American comrade. While the Shrimp Man continues out. Of course, the question then becomes what will I am a pig do with his little Shrimp Man? What will he do? And of course, what doctrine will be chosen? Of course, it can do different things like mark targets. If you have pan Luftwaffe, which means it actually becomes easier to hit the troops that have been marked. It can lay down incendiary traps, or it can lay down mines if you go tank destroyer. But Panzer is marching out. Bike on the way for dreams will come true. Perhaps a dream of a victory for the Wehrmacht. Points being secured. Pretty sort of broad approach here. MGs and riflemen converging. This is good. Try to support each other when you go for the support bit. Bike pushing onwards, and Yulia's coming under fire. And Panzer Grenadier's moving up to support the bike as well. Gavir 43 equipped. Looking good so far. Machine gun though coming under fire. Shipping back and seizing territory. So far, no approach from the axis towards there. Hey, machine gun could be setting up, could be opening up all the Panzergrenades. No, Panzergrenades do pull away. But again, sticking together, this is what we like. This is good teamwork. And able to cover the central victory points. Jolly good job there. Good Darien and Bite Bite. Looks like MG is up for the Wehrmacht. Apparently, he will also be sort of trying to pull a support duty for the Panzer Elite player, of course. Of course, after the other works out. Oh, the engineers running straight into the MD42, but running away. Will they make it? At the same time, the bike coming under heavy caliber fire from the 30 caliber. More 30 caliber fire arriving from the Americans. Minor fighting here. Panzer is protecting the shrimp wagon, forcing an American push. More riflemen on the way for bite, bite. Not unusual, not unusual. And engineers flanking the MD42. Good job there, bite, bite. Although the support gunners and the bike nearby are doing their best to force away the engineers. Pioneers joining in the fun as well. Resorting in a quick retreat, but a 30 caliber now sets up. Flanking with a 30 caliber on the Wehrmacht position. Panzer is moving up to support. Panzer down up. Oh dear, this MG, I mean 30 caliber could be in a lot of trouble. No, looks like he's making it out of there just barely. And a Shrim Mag now rushing into Allied territory. Far behind enemy lines in his Schwimmwagen. Panzer finding themselves caught out in the open as a stream of riflemen rush and MD4 out in the center. Riflemen and they're getting flamed and nice job right there. Giving a bit of support sandbags for his teammates. Hey, machine gun and mines to protect. No, no missile mines, they were cancelled. Flame for pioneers in the middle of everything. Cool. Will they make it out of No, indeed. A loss for the Pioneera. Schwimmwagen going in for the fuel, hoping to deny the sort of more valuable fuel point to the Americans. Good job there, Mr. Pig. Or Schwein. Hauptmann Schwein, yes indeed, ever lovely. Now, 
I'm not sure what I'll call it to him. Anyways, we are seeing an infantry halfback coming out for Mr. Piglet. Can what to call him? What to call him? We'll call him P. Let's try to stay classy, of course. And heavy machine gun though has turned about, but still nice job there. Can really do a lot of damage if you can really, you know, use the speed of the infantry halfback with pantograms in it to sort of pierce the American lines and cause utter confusion. Observation post on the munitions. Quite interesting, quite interesting. Heavy machine gun forced away. Right for now, the only thing left behind. Of course now. He needs to put a mortar out for Guderian. Quite nice there, and more machine gun fire against the infantry half tank. This is looking less splendid. Looks like the Panzer Elite salt is bogging down a bit. Schwimmark moving about, rendering everything neutral. Cheeky sword. And another infantry half tank out for the Panzer Elite from Mr. Hauptmann P. And Reifelman getting constantly sniped. That is looking less great. And another few point cut off again. Great job in harassing. And a sniper out for dreams will come true. Mortar fire. Doing a bit of nice job there. And of course if they get into the infantry half tank and try to flank the heavy machine guns. They could do some damage. But no, the infantry half tank is actually pretty damaged. Buffing up. Be a for bite. Bite. Let's go look at Guderian. What is he up to? What is he up to? Not much actually. It looks like an infantry half tank is moving up to support the Schwimmwagen's harassment efforts. Lovely, lovely, although the positions of the Wehrmacht right here is looking less good. 116th Panzer Division under quite a lot of pressure. Engineers getting forced back. Nice rate there, nice Panzer Grenadier tactics. Very nice, very nice. It's certainly going to be pulling forces away from the front line. Which of course could mean these chaps here might have a better chance to do some damage. Of course, if they realize the opportunity. Trier sends out for bite, bite. Good, good. And looks like we're seeing further hand machine guns up for good Darren. He's got three in fact. Quite a bit. Mamak continues up here. Panzerin is keeping guard. Could be doing something. Although what is the question? Perhaps taking points while the Schwimm Magnet takes others? No, it doesn't even continue taking them, finish them. Oh dear. Could have made it harder for the Americans, of course, to take them back. MG getting sniped, and looks like Guderian is getting a sniper to stop the crowd sniper. And a Panzer Jäger command up for Mr. P. While Kriegbergs is ready for dreams will come true with a Kampfkopf Center to support it up. Jolly good. All a bit quiet though. I think they're Russians or Ukrainians. I'm not entirely sure. I don't speak either. But looks like our larger counterattack going in here. Points being rendered neutral. Mines going down right there. So of course, Mr. P has gone tank destroyer. It is a bit more expensive than regular mines. At the same time, attack going on here. Mortar pushed back. Rifle left behind to their own devices. No, they're being pushed back as well. Though I still don't like this infantry half tank doing absolutely nothing. It's a bit too passive. Infantry half tanks with the panzer are better on the offense, but there you go. And of course now they might actually be a bit outmanned. Less splendid in Shrimmag also not in a good position. Oh dear, I think it might Oh dear. Shrimmag now control crashing into the victory point. And infantry half track caught behind enemy lines, but now we're missing into something else here. Careful though, careful with Panzergrenades in an infantry half check if the sniper is behind. The sniper can actually kill two Panzergrenades at the same time. Oh, the heavy machine gun cleared out. Will there be any forces to exploit this and take the heavy machine gun away from the Americans? That would be a great choice, I think. But no, no infantry to really do it or pioneers will sacrifice themselves to do so. Panzergrenades caught from all sides. Low health, infantry half check pushed away. Heavy machine gun not secured. Another hand machine gun to support things, not either. Oh dear, German sniper down. Less grand, less grand. By far. Armored cut out for Guderian though. American rifleman getting suppressed by the infantry half track. Stopped here by the machine gun. Pioneers in a slightly nasty position. Infantry half track still there though with Panzer Grenadiers in it. Will it exploit things? Will it attack from the rear? Will it cause chaos confusion? Death and disaster? Apparently not. And armored car moves in. Oh dear, it has been left behind too far. Far too long. Pantagrenadis needs to retreat. 
And the infant half-track needs to get out. We are seeing an anti-tank half-track out here. Not sure why he went for the Panzer Eagle Command, so he has nothing for it. We got an upgrade. 50 caliber ready as well now. I don't think this infant half-track won't be making it back to the fatherland. Second one though getting repaired. Pack ready in the center. Don't think it will save this poor infantry half-track. Will there be an anti-tank half-track in time to save things? Will there? There will be an armored car apparently. Flak feeling opening up. Armored car taking minor damage and there we go. Infantry half-track knocked out of control. Just got into the base but that was no salvation. Bunker going up for dreams will come true and it's enough. There's been no attempt at a medic bunker to really take advantage of all those Panzer Grenadiers getting wounded and all that. I mean that would have been a great choice early on for dreams will come true. Absolute shame there. Absolute very large shame. Now he has Grenadiers on his own. Which are getting scorched. Americans doing what they can anti tank half track moving up. Quiet, in fact, let's go have a look at Mr. P. Rifle charging through in the center. He has gone for, of course, tank destroy, but we know nothing else. He could be going for Hetzers. He might be going straight for a Yak Pump, although usually you see Plains Active try to go for the Hetzer first, as it is a nice little assault gun. Engineers running into armor car fire and a sniper. Hey, machine gun out in the open, though, getting shot up. And now the armored cars are rhyming. Anti tank gun, though, providing support as well. The enemy is weakening. And a mine goes off. Knocking out what I think was a rifleman team. Small victory for the Wehrmacht there. Rifleman getting sniped. Could it be? Or oh well, shot up. Could it be focused fire from the anti tank half track? That would be a good move. Repair bunker up. Infantry half track still there. And looks like a mortar half track on the way for P to bombard the enemy positions. This is good. I would certainly recommend a mortar but sooner. And an observation post down here by Dreams will come true. Although Americans are moving about. Armored car moving in to deal with the harassment, and certainly the armored car can be good with dealing with that. Can do a lot of damage. Hey, machine gun getting flanked. Anti tank gun, though, up for good Darien. This is also going to be good. I'm going to deal with all those light vehicles. Mr. P, of the 116th, can bring up. Not entirely sure why he charges an infantry half tech right there. Armored car prone to be a bit of a problem. Panzer Grenadiers with assault rifles moving up to flank traps. And the anti tank gun edges ever slowly up. Bite bite with the supply yard as well. He probably wouldn't have needed that sooner. And of course, always good with a medic station. But so far, neither side really having anything to really deal with infantry attrition. There we go. Panzer Grenadiers with assault rifles clearing up the hand machine gun. Armored car though proving to be an issue. Anti tank half tech moving in. Careful, careful. Hit a mine, yes indeed, right in front of the anti-tank gun. The last thing you want to be caught in front out of. But the anti-tank gun apparently can't hit it. No, wait, it can. And the armored car actually flanks. No, it's a sniper. Cheeky that. Dreams will come true, secured another sniper. Anti-tank gun crew dead. Armored car though needs to get out of there. There are too many riflemen, too much firepower. More to half-tack joining in. Oh dear, looks like the armored car will not be making it out of there. What a shame, what a shame. Snipers opening up on the Panzer Grenadiers. Two snipers out for Guderian, in fact. One with veterancy. Armored car down. And mortar half track mortaring the armored car. Doing a nice job there. Knocking it out, in fact. Quite some blows on either side. Lots of vehicular losses. I'm. Pick should be a bit careful not to lose any half tracks. Engineers, oh dear, caught right in front of it. Sticky bombs and the anti tank gun. Oh dear, that was quite tragic, quite devastating. Flame for engineers charging in, but we are seeing an engineer grenade crew cleared out again, losing an engineer team thus fully. But I've been making out a mortar moving in. Snipers, pioneers repairing what they can, but the anti tank half track is down, kaput. Mortar half tech continues to kill. And Panzer Grenadiers need to get out of there most. Oh dear, Panzer Grenadier team down. Mortar team cleared out. Oh, heavy losses on both sides. But that rather took out the spirit of Mr. P's sort of armored assault with lots of half tracks. 
And he has to be careful not to lose that infant draft track as well. Oh dear. It might go down, in fact. No, barely making out of there. That was quite a blow. Pentagon is down. Lots of half tracks down. There are obviously armored cars and lots of losses for Kuderin as well. So not all bad. In fact, he seems pretty weak at the moment. Only two snipers. An anti-tank gun. A heavy machine gun in the north. And in fact, the north is extremely open. I mean, if anyone was even to slightly poke up there with say an armored car, that would probably completely collapse. But so far it doesn't look like it. These kind of need to get out of there still. Medic bunker again for the Wehrmacht. Would have been nice. Empty bunker protecting the center. Yes, sir, and look, and in fact he has all three buildings. Of course Mr. P could be going for the Panther battle group. If he decides so. But so far nothing so looking like it. Mine hit American stop. MG bunker protecting the pack. Or perhaps trying to at least pack. The crew tragically and heads us on the way. He is not going for Panthers, he's going for Hetzers. Not entirely sure I would have suggested that right away. I mean Hetzers are certainly good against infantry, but again, two Panthers really would also have presented quite the effort to the opponents. More to half tech. Oh, oh dear. Exposed again. Be careful, keep them behind your lines. In this case, get it repaired as swiftly as possible. And Titan gun could be decrewed again. An attempt right here in the north being stopped by the heavy machine gun. Nothing to really support it. And basically, I mean, just sending up the heads of there could probably solve that quite quickly. More incendiary rounds. Rifle being pushed back. More veterans here on the way for dreams will come true. Not sure for what, though. Support units or infantry. By the looks of things, I have no idea. No mind. Certainly becoming slowly a wasteland, and let's go look at the dreams will come true. Point. What is he up to? He's gone straight for armor. He's gone straight for a panzer command, and he's got an Ostwind out. Ostwind, Ostwind, flak panzer. Sending in the heads without support, though. That is less good tactics, less good strategy. Heads are though having a bit of fun with the engineers. Of course, in this case, his heads are representing this Duke three. And some pioneers. Oh dear, caught now. Oh dear. That was less spectacular. Those snipers from Guterian prone to be quite the problem maker. And a bit of nice harassment down here. Ostwin not moving in to deal with that though. Come on. You've got troops behind your lines. Deal with that. Instead, the heads are relegated to deal with that. That seems a bit of a mismatch. Motor Arctic has been repaired. Nice, nice. Another heads out from Mr. P. They could in fact be making an attack right here and knock out the barracks if they wanted to. Although it looks like Guderian has gone straight for the tank depot. He's getting tank destroyers. Anti-tank are moving up as well. Quite a lot to stop the armored business. And there we go. Infantry after clearing out the north. MG did survive though, but quickly, quickly take as much as you can. Get some swim magnets up there. And you can essentially quickly retake their territory, I think. And a firestorm. Oh dear, right on the anti-tank gun. Basically one to secure that. Knock it out. Not managing though. Not managing. That was less brilliant. But f no victory points in the hands of the Americans of the 1st Armor Division against the 116th Windhund. Hetz are trying its best as it can, although the Ostwind proves to be a quite nice support there. More armor moving in. Another Ostwind. Quick reaction force though from the Americans. And no armored anti tank acid support for the forces up there. So that M10 will be having a field day as snipers are moving in as well. Nasty, nasty. Anti tank gun getting mortared. There we go. Infantry half tech left behind enemy line. Snipers moving up. And looks like I am pig is quite. Happy to sacrifice those forces up there. Come on, get them out of there, get them out of there. Schnell, schnell. Wixook. Infantry half track tragically lost. But more anti-tank assets from Guderian, he's pretty heavy on that. 
M10s and anti-tank guns. Another hit, sir. From Mr. P. Again, I think at this stage he might want to consider getting some Panthers. I might also suggest dreams will come true getting some own business to deal with tank destroyers as Kuderian is getting more and more of them. Perhaps a Panther 4 or a Panther himself would be a nice move. Perhaps also some Reporting. further veterans for the armor. M10s now moving in. Right into anti-tank gun fire, right into the headsets. But one goes down due to the anti-tank guns and of course the M10s. Nothing much to stop those M10s. Packs doing what they can. Anti-tank guns joining in. Panzer Rex. And Guderian has gone for armor. One down. M10. Hetzer needs to get out of there before it gets knocked out. Two M10s, of course, quickly replaced. Not good math for the Germans, though. Since they lost, well, one Hetzer and probably some other bits. And now we are seeing Bite Bite following up with an assault. And in fact, let's go out and get Bite Bite, who's also gone armor. Cheeky, cheeky. Raffin moving out there, but running into the Ostwins, who are themselves getting stopped by the anti tank guns. Something needs to be dealt with there, but they don't quite have the resources. No forces to fall them in the flank. We're at 200 points. Oh dear, Ostwind went down. Another flak panzer kaput. M10's charging in. Pack also gone. Heads are trying to be repaired. There does not seem to be anything to really stop those M10s. The Hetzers are in a lot of trouble. Pioneers rising into repair. Ostwin heroically holding off against all those riflemen. While another attempt by the Panzers, but again, Guderian has placed one heavy machine gun right there. And interestingly enough, he's not even trying to flank. I mean, there's a pretty gap, large gap here, which is known to pretty much everyone who knows this map, where he could have flanked. Silly P. Now the heavy machine gun. Bunker is getting flanked, heads are sort of ready, another one apparently being rushed in. Would be a nice time for an Ostwin, I mean not Ostwin, but a Berger Tiger, to basically begin recovering some of all that lost vehicles. The Ostwins, the Hetzers, all that you know. And looks like Nats course are arriving, Sirita Kreutz. And looks like this M10 will be going down. And looks like a Calliope has arrived from Guderian as well. And Bite Bite proclaiming his proclaiming his love to Guderian apparently. A bit of a battlefield bromance, I suppose. Ready for battle. On me Crew. And as for the mid-game analysis. Wehrmacht is in a bit of trouble. They have lost the initiative due to those rather aggressive attacks here. And currently, I am Pick's forces is rather leaving him not really in the strength to really attack, which he really needs to do. Deal some damage. Kill some Yankees, some armies. They need Panthers or something heavier, something that can more effectively deal with those hordes of M10s and what else comes in. And of course, they need something to blast out the anti tank barrier defenses. There we go, Panthers flanking up. And apparently he ran past this strategic point which Guderian caught. Let's grand. It looks like another firestorm here. Anti-tank gun down. Panzer is stopped. Rifleman in the center getting blasted to bits by the Ostwind. And for the Americans they're doing reasonably well although they are certainly taking their own losses. The Allied war machine basically allows them to Ignore the majority of those, which can be a bit of a problem, but it certainly doesn't help that the Axis forces are rather helping them with that by not having a flexible enough force, and of course, not something that can much more deftly deal with those tank destroyers because the heads, just, once they get flanked, they can't really do much, which is rather the sort of issue with the assault guns. Panzer 4 arrives, Bergetiger moves in, trying to destroy all those anti-tank guns, good job, Ostman moving in, right into an anti-tank gun, again no support for it, no infantry, no anything, M10 in the south, trying to clear out the anti-tank gun crew, and it does so, but not before getting knocked out itself, 
There we go, the Bergetiger. Sending him out to ris rescue as much armor as possible, which certainly the Germans were quite good at. And putting it back into action, certainly some people from the second SS Panzer Corps, no, that was the first one actually, received the Iron Cross from Sepp Dietrich, who was the leader of, that, of the corps at that time, I believe, simply because of the skill in getting German tanks back into action. In Americans case they just get another one although crews were a bit harder to replace. Another attempt right here. Trying now to flank south. Will it succeed this time around? Again I think a slightly larger effort might actually succeed. No he's doing something else. What is he doing? And another Kalibi Balash hammering German positions. Heads are back in action. Hey, machine gun getting flanked right there. Yes, indeed. And it just turns about. Will the Panzergrenz move in time? No, they didn't. Oh, come on. No, they're actually just standing there. Oh, their Panzergrenz were too close. Enemy unit. And the heavy machine gun team got the Panzergrenz gaining veterancy too. And then they, of course, they retreat. Cheeky, cheeky. But again, should have been a lot, slightly larger effort right there from Mr. P to sort of deal with that. Well, basically some Knights Cross Soldiers, I think. Panzer IV on its own, getting rushed by Riflemen, needs to get out of there, needs support at least. Ostwin pulled back together, heads us moving in. And let's go look at Guderian, what is he up to? Another M10 running straight into two heads, some with quite a bit of veterancy. Quite a few kills to the name. Four tank destroyers, I believe that one would have gotten. Quite the veteran. Panzer IV trying to get out of there. Second Panzer IV moving up. Knights Cross also doing the best they can to support. No veterans for those though. Tank destroyed, gun destroyed. Rifle machining through it all. And it goes down. And this headset got knocked out with its engine. Still no shrimp mag and still no, I think nothing to really break through with. And now quickly the veteran D2 heavy machine gun team is ready once more. And more anti-tank on fire, more calliope barrages. Two in fact up now. That's certainly going to prove to be a bit of an issue. Enemy but quite the armoured fight and another Hetzer went down. Another Hetzer. Tsk tsk. The work of the Bergetiger never ends. And this anti-tank gun running into quite a bit of mortar fire. In fact quite a bit of different sorts of fire. Getting bombarded by the Hetzers. Grenadiers and Knights Cross moving in. Still not a lot of infantry. More repair bunkers are you on the way. No attempt at salvaging though. Some of all the Amer American wrecks though. Again, they do seem to be a bit lacking in the infantry efforts. Fresh Panzer is now up from Mr. P. Anti-tank and wrecked. Looks like the Americans are getting ready for another assault. Lots of tank destroyers being stocked up on. And they both have allied war machines, of course that could prove to be quite nasty. Hits are repaired once more, ready for the fight. Panzergun is repairing the back to you at the same time. Hopefully they have expert repairs. Although I would say the Wehrmacht commander should sort of also organize his effort to port repairing that back to you. I mean that's going to be what's going to put his panzers back in the fight as well. Looks like all of these assault guns is proving themselves to be quite formidable. But again, they don't really have the force to attack. And the Calliope certainly do not help. Back to you, almost down. Repair it, repair it. Quickly. MG right here in this house, protecting against southern flanking attempts. Nothing in the north though, but still, the Americans are basically just hammering it in. Hetz is doing what they can. Panzer Force moving up as well. Main gun destroyed. Enemy unit down. And one Hetz bites us. And then the Calibre Barrage right into everything, but of course he just gets replaced. Oh dear. But only one Hetz down. Then we see the second wave of tank destroyers. And another Hetz bites the dust. Well, in this case, he only got two tank destroyers replaced out of three. 
which we're sending, I believe. And of course, there's a slight detail, I believe. Really, can actually set a cap, so I believe, yes, up to two. So in that case, that was slightly in the advantage of the Axis, I believe. Although, if they could have gotten some of those other tank destroyers, that would have been nice. But more repair bunkers up. Emma Mir. Back to Eager, though, quite exposed. Quite exposed, has to be careful. And it's not been fully repaired. Oh, be careful, Mr. P. And still, where are those Enemy unit Panthers? And veterans, you free for your sh Panthers. I'm not entirely sure you want that. I think you want more Panthers. You want numbers to deal with the numbers of these. You want Panthers, at the very least. Panthers. Get some Panzer Kampfwagen Fünf, you dotes. And another Kalibi Badass. Back to Eager is tragically gone down. Hetz is moving forwards to try and deal, but of course runs into a lot of tank destroyers. Although, of course, if they can get one. Yes, indeed, one out of control. Panzer Force moving up to assist. And there we go, Allied War Machine up. And looks like, again, three tank destroyers down, two replaced. Without any major losses to the Axis, that was certainly something that could work. Forced retreat. And the Sherman Calipes are a bit on their own. Send in the Panzer IV. Send in the Panzer IV. Knock them out. One could be in fact be going down. That would be great. Two Panzer Jacks. Come on. Yes, indeed. Calipe down. Hurrah. <coughs> I mean, boo. Anyways, let's go have a look at IMP again. He's getting pan yeah, Panther. Grenadiers, though, went down. Not too quick enough to retreat once they've gotten that Calipe. And again, I mean, he has all the structures to get the off the Panther battle group. But he's not really bothering. Well, we have at least seen, yes, another bag, Chica. This is good. More things being salvaged. Rather than charging ahead, right into dual pans of force and the Ostvent. All veterans are free. So they shall be tough. They shall be tough. Not entirely sure, though, why sending in the Ostvent against the pans of force. Perhaps as a nice little tasty target. Heavily damaged Panther all being sent in. Back heads has got to be sent in as well. Yes, indeed. But my goodness, there's quite a few tank destroyers there. We are talking about five tank destroyers. Oh dear, he lost a Panzer IV. Oh dear. But the Bergit Tiger number two is ready. How about salvaging that infantry after taking your pace? We have one right there. Could be used to sort of launch an assault up here, you know, get past that heavy machine gun, clear it out quickly. But apparently he does not feel that is necessary. Silly person. And he's got a few panzers now getting the group seal for them, interestingly enough. Again, I think he needs something like... Ooh, a V-Bon rocket. A V-Bon rocket, could it be here? Could it be here? Yes, indeed, there we go. Allied War Machine just in time. Calliope goes down. Although it is quickly replaced due to Allied War Machine. Of course, this means the other tank destroyers won't get so much out of it. There we go, only one replaced. More tank destroyers moving in from the north. Panzer is running into it. They should have had veteran sergeants if they wanted to get past that, actually. Awesome incendiary grenades. But again, had they just salvaged that one and used it in the offense, they could have done it. Not a lot of victory points left for the Americans. Tank destroyers have gone behind. German Knights. We are seeing a Panther out for Dream School come true, finally. Lots of Panther checks at the same time. And there we go. Numerous tank destroyers down. Knights cross holding the front. Assault from them, in fact, and, and then a Calliope Barrage right into everything. Oh dear, oh dear. Quite some heavy armoured losses, but the 116th does not give up, it seems like. Nor does the 1st Armoured Division, all the Zulfats mostly relying on their tank destroyers. And they're losing quite a few. I would suspect we might even have been looking at an entire company of our tank destroyers actually have been lost. We've certainly seen several platoons go out in flames. That's still continuing. There we go, swiftly repairing. We do see expert repairs up. Good, good. And an armored car, he might be using that in the north. That would be good. 
might be an idea though to retreat the panther back towards here, get it repaired. I think in this case it's better to preserve it than keep it in the fight. Quickly. Oh no, you're not going to be sending in against all those tank destroyers. And some nice propaganda report there from the announcer. The enemy armor proved to be even weaker than we thought. This is good. That's the spirit, but you know, doesn't mean you should throw it away. Nice cross. Assault grenades right into the charging rifleman heroically. It's two Ritter Kreutz. Heads are though immobilized again. Oh dear. Pull back to this one. That's still functional. That's still got three pioneers. And keep that panther standing still. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Nicht gut. And there we go, pushing towards the north. And another Calliope Barrage, another devastating one. Panther exposed. Oh no. And the anti tank guns are ready again, and everything's right in front of it. This is an absolute mess. Armour needs to pull back towards this much more safe line, get it repaired. Quickly, you do not want to lose it. Another M10, though, bites the dust. Again, get that panther out of there. Dreams will come true. Get it out of there. If you value your armor and your life, I suppose. Just get it back out of the line of the Calliope's. There we go. Moving. Yes. Fine. You alter that panther free. And then the Calliope comes. Will it make it? Heads are down. The veterans see three heads up. Oh, dear. Back to you, of course. Exposed to anti-tank on fire. Panther's engine destroyed. A firestorm could be called in here. Firestorm, come on. Yes, indeed. And then an assault to follow up. And rifleman caught due to the stun. Only one anti tank gun there goes down. Tank destroyers moving in again. And Bergetiger out of control. Yak Panther arrives. And a tank destroyer arrives but cannot be stopped. Been fortunate. But a Yak Panther has been called in from a Schmeer Panzer Jäger Abteilung, probably the 654th, to plug in the hole. Tank destroyers moving in, looks like this is. Our Panther has been fully repaired. Oh dear, the M10 sent the outnumber. Mr. P should not have placed his headset so close to the front line, I think. Yeah, Panther's arrived. Of course, it's getting outflanked. It's getting outflanked. M10 spiding the dust. Some with veteran C2, though. Yak Panther needs to pull back. Oh, dear. Another M10 went down. Again, I think a company went down. Possibly Weyman closing in on two companies of tank destroyers. Getting absolutely wrecked. And one has lost count of all the tank destroyers that have been lost. Yak Panther needs to just get... Oh, don't back into it. Oh, you stupid bastard. Losses though are pretty severe. Down to 14 victory points over the Americans. Ever so close. Panzer's getting sniped though. Doing their best, but this uh, might have the been the advances. straw that broke the camel's back. And all those poor little heads just went down. And now Reifman with Panzer's are arriving. This is anything but good. This is a huge blow to the 116th. Panther 4 arriving. I'm not entirely sure you want Panther 4s. You want Panthers. Mortar rounds landing. Yak Panther pulling back. Get it back to base. Get it back to base. Get some Panthers to repair it. What a bag Tiger. What do I know? And again, the M10s are streaming in everywhere. Yak Panther in trouble. Panzer 4 moving in. Heads are wrecked. And the anti tank gun gets the Yak Panther. Oh no. And 11 victory points. And then the Americans seem to have turned things around completely. But again, if they manage some sort of minor armored assault, perhaps sending in that Panther 4, as the M10 is actually pretty wounded, they could perhaps secure things just temporarily. Just temporarily. Panther still holding the line. 
Defending off Allied Assault after Allied Assault. Seems to be the only thing holding the Axis Warfare together now. The Yak Panther did not last long at all. But this is quite the armored clash. Wrecks of everything litter the battlefield. Panzerforst M10s. Lots of M10s, in fact. Uncountable numbers of M10s. Another Berger Tiger. Repair bunker getting shot at. And everybody trying to just keep that Panther going. King Tiger could be called in. Koenig's Tiger. More M10s arriving. The Kaliber's doing quite a nice job though. And a half track. Just reinforced on the field. Good job there. And good daring snipers. Both veterans see free. Oh dear, we've just forgotten about all those snipers and all that armor fighting. Still, they've done quite nicely as well. Quite an extraordinary. Now, of course, they just deal with those panzers trying to repair. Koenig's Tiger arrives. One last effort for the 116th, perhaps. And the M10 rush in. Yak Panther getting pulled together. Will it be enough though? Panther needs to move in. Snipers sniping the Pioneers. Another M10 goes down. Anti tank and those going to be, of course, a problem. No artillery to really deal with them though. No Nebelwerfers, no mortars. And no infantry either, really, because they get sniped. And the Panther bit the dust. Another Hetzer arrives. Still not a single Panther battle group from Mr. P. King Tiger already heavily damaged. Back Tiger trying to repair that Yak Panther, but it's simply getting hammered. And another Firestorm right there on the anti tank guns. Come on, just one push up here, one tank destroyer, some panzer grenades for the Schwimmmagen. And now the Pershing has arrived. Oh dear. That's the last thing the 116th Panzer Division needs, a Pershing to really drive home the nail into the coffin. Pershing does take heavy damage. But there we go. Koenig's Tiger down. Veterans do for the Pershing. They're losing territory. And then Veterans free as it just sort of casually deals with the heads right next to the King Tiger. And this is it. Game over. A victory for the first armor division. The 116th took absolutely horrific losses, although I would say. The losses for the Americans were even higher, yet they preserved due to basically oh, Allied War Machine. Although, again, I mean, there were clearly times where the Axis could have pulled through, but they made some rather nasty mistakes. And, of course, what mistakes were that, I mean, again, had they made even a slightly larger effort off here in the north, they could have sort of divided up the Ac Allies' attention a bit more and drained them off those final victory points. But also the sort of lack of larger artillery assets and Nebelwerfer, Stuka, Sufus, something like that. But also the sort of full insistence from Mr. P. I am pick, well I am a pick, to basically not get any Panthers. I think one Panther battle group could have seen him through this. One Panther battle group and they might have won. He was a, I mean, heads are good but they're not that good. In particular not against tank destroyers which can flank them. He basically had something that could deal with the tank just like could flank and he was also and of course they made one other major mistake they were a bit too keen on sort of placing a bit too much out of the front and not pulling th valuable things back for repairs so they can quickly get back into the fight sort of details like that and generally not enough combined arms from the axis there was some from the allies you know with the calibers pulling artillery barrages infantry snipers all that pulling up while the m10s just hammered in got replaced but there you go, do hope you enjoyed this game, if you did, why not subscribe and tell your friends, and if you didn't, well why not send a replay of your own, this is Imperial Dane saying, cheers.